Hey foodies and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to step up those homemade burgers and make them super juicy and delicious. Now once y'all try my burger recipe, you're never going to want to get burgers from a fast food restaurant again. And the great thing about this recipe is half of the stuff you already have in your pantry so you're going to be saving money. So let's get started. All right, so let's get right into it. So if you want to know ingredients and measurements and everything that I use for this recipe, that will be linked in the description box below. Be sure to check that out. So first, you want to start off with some ground beef. You want to make sure you use a ground beef that is higher in fat content. Try to stay away from lean ground beef. It's not going to be as juicy. You want the beef to be 20% fat or more. So I'm going to go ahead and form my patties. And you also want to leave a dent in the middle. That's just going to help it cook evenly. So we're just going to go ahead and take our seasoning and we're going to apply that to the burgers. You can add as much or as little as you want. If you want to know what seasonings I use, be sure to check the description box below. That is definitely going to be linked there. So now you want to go ahead and flip your burgers over and just repeat and season that side as well. As you see, I only seasoned the outside of the burger. You want to avoid adding the seasoning to the meat and mixing it all together because what that really does is it draws out all the moisture, leaving you with a dry patty. And that is not what we want. So once we're done seasoning up our meat, you want to go ahead and get two medium sized onions. Obviously, you want to make sure you remove that skin. Once the skin is removed, we are going to go ahead and we are going to chop these up. You want to chop these up into slices because I am going to be caramelizing these onions. I don't know about you, but I just love a good caramelized onion on my burger. Like it could really set it off if it's seasoned the right way. All right, so now that we're done chopping up our onions, you wanna go ahead and get you a cast iron skillet, add some oil in there and let that heat up. And we're gonna go ahead and add those onions straight into the pan. I'm also gonna add in some mushrooms. Now I'm using canned mushrooms, but by all means you could go ahead and use fresh mushrooms. I was just being lazy. Then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add a generous amount of seasoning. And then I'm gonna add in balsamic vinegar and sugar. So you want to try to get you some brown sugar instead because that's always better for when you're caramelizing anything. And you can also substitute the balsamic vinegar for some wine and that'll definitely give it a great flavor. So I'm just going to keep letting these cook until these start to brown a little bit more and they get softer. And once that's all done, we're going to go ahead and remove it from our pan and it's going to look just like this. And you want to make sure you do not clean out your pan because that is added flavor in that pan and we do not want to get rid of it. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more oil and we're going to add a little bit more seasoning to that pan as well. And we're going to add the burger directly to the pan and we're going to let that sear. I just used my spatula to press down my burger a little bit, but you want to be careful when doing this that you don't release out all of that juice. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip that over. As you can see, it's nice and caramelized. I like my burger like that as well. So if you're somebody that likes your burger well done at this point, you would go ahead and put that burger in the oven for about 20 minutes. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do this one more time, except this time we're going to be melting some cheese on top. So you basically do it the same way. You let it cook on one side, then you flip that over and let it cook on the other side as well. Once it's cooked to your liking, you want to go ahead and add in your cheese and we're just going to let that melt. It takes about a minute for your cheese to melt and that's it. I'm going to do the rest of these off camera. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to make the secret sauce. So for this sauce, we're going to be using mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, seasoning, and a little bit of sugar. And just a dash of lemon juice. You'd be surprised how all these flavors come together. So for the mayonnaise, we use about four tablespoons. For the ketchup, I use about two tablespoons. And for the mustard, I use about one teaspoon. And then you add in one tablespoon of sugar and one teaspoon of lemon juice. And you just want to go ahead and mix that until it's well combined. All right, we're almost done. So the last thing I'm gonna do is just butter my buns. And we're doing this because I wanna toast these on top of the stove because I feel like that's a very important part of having a good burger is some nice toasty buns. So you just wanna go ahead and set your stove to a medium to high heat. You just wanna let that cook for about a minute, flip that over and cook the other side for a minute as well. But be careful because these do burn quickly. 
All right, so now it's time to assemble our burgers. So I'm gonna start off by adding some of the sauce, then the lettuce, then the tomatoes. Then we're gonna add that juicy burger with that melted cheese on top. And then we're gonna add the caramelized onions. Add the sauce to your other bun and place that right on top. And there you have it, homemade juicy burgers. I hope you guys enjoyed this easy recipe. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button as well as leaving me a comment below. That really helps me out a ton. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at underscore cooking with Kiana. I will be posting short recipes there that does not make it to YouTube. And if you like this recipe and you want to see more recipes from me, subscribe to this channel because I will be posting two recipes a week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.